Williams and Redhead in the battle should drink a toast to this man. Chopping staves at a famous brewery, he's a Cooper, one of the men who make the barrels. Rough hewn, the staves are trimmed and hollowed out on one side, just as Coopers have done since that ancient company was incorporated as a fraternity and guild forever over 400 years ago. Oak, strong and a poor conductor of heat, is the best barrel timber. Towards the making of one barrel go anything from 18 to 24 staves which are stood in a circle side by side, inside an iron hoop. The sides of each are trimmed narrower at the ends than the middle. One stave at a time, the barrel takes shape under the experienced hand coopers, who, working by eye alone, can produce a barrel to hold not a gill more or less than the amount specified for the size of the butt. And although it contains 70 feet of unjointed timber, it's completely watertight. More hoops are added to hold the staves in place. And an iron ring hammered over the rim. Finally, the barrel's placed over a fire to soften the timber so that the remaining hoops can be hammered on. Five years training as an apprentice went with the making of this 118 gallon barrel, largely the work of an ex-sapper, Arthur Hardy. As his mates hammer on the last hoop, the clock on the wall nears 12, the moment of a unique landmark in Arthur's life. For then his apprenticeship is up, and he is ready for initiation as a journeyman cooper. Born aloft, he is bundled into his newly made butt, and the ceremony of trussing a cooper, as it's called, begins. Oak shavings from the original staves are showered into Arthur's prison, still hot from the firing, followed up by a bucket of water. Next, two free pints of beer. A final bang to the Cooper's chorus, and the battle, Arthur and all, is overturned and rolled round the cobbled floor. The entire brewery has given time off to join in the first trussing for ten years. Tossed three times in the air, and Arthur's a Cooper. It's been worth it. <laughs>